Yo, what up? It's your boy, Berserk, a.k.a. Shogun Berserk here with the ultimate guide for the auction house. A system so complex. This is my third video on the topic because I keep learning more and more about this every day. If there's something that I missed, please do not cry like a hoe in the comment section. Just leave a comment down below. Maybe it'll help somebody else who is looking for that specific answer. With that being said, I'm going to make this as short as possible. Here are the topics that we're going to be discussing because I think that it is going to cover all the basis of the auction house and hopefully all the questions that you have. So we got crafting lithograms, extract drops and cooking. What we're going to start off with first is an extraction. As you notice in the store, an extraction is going to be extremely cheap. If you buy this, this is not the weapon at all. This is specifically going to be the tray. Let's just say, for example, you already have this sword, the Duke magma's provoking war blade. And it's going to be too hard for you to farm this to get this like what? Three times, four times to improve the um, trait for it. You can go here and buy the extract from it. And then you can level this up. Like, for example, this right here. If I was to buy this three times, I can use it and buy this weapon. And then I could uh, max that trait up. And that's pretty much how extract work. They're not the actual weapon. I know some of you have been, hopefully not too many of you have been buying um, a lot of these, but you can also sell extracts for uh, weapons as well. You can take them out via your inventory. And all you need is an extraction stone. Take a look here. These are weapons right here. You can tell that these are weapons. Uh, they do not have that frame around them. Basically, this is what you do. You Again, you go down here. Trade extraction. Boom, it's going to show up right here. This is going to turn it into a trade. It has that gold frame, but it has that uh, white um, border around it as well. And it's going to tell you how many extraction stones you are going to need. Once that is complete, you're going to have that item. You are going to be able to go to the auction house. And you're going to be able to sell it up here kind of like how i sold this one before this is um one of the ones i sold here before looks like we got a little bit of action on these bad boys we got some sales um so yeah that is exactly how that is going to work for extractions do not be fooled do not get these extractions like thinking that these are dirt cheap oh let me get this weapon for dirt cheap these guys are cracking heads and also just to clarify if you extract from a weapon the weapon is no longer it is just simply going to be the extract it is going to be that trait so I lost this weapon, but I got this extract and I'm able to sell this and flip this for uh, 10 Lucent. So that is a way that you can get stuff as well. You can sell these, you can sell the drop straight out, but we'll get into that. Okay, now what we're going to talk about is the lithograms. So the lithograms, you see these inside the auction house as well. Let me go ahead and go back to that. I don't know why I'm leaving it right now. So you see these inside the auction house as well. Let me go to it. Uh, there they are right here. So these are usually what you need along with other pieces in order to make weapons. Yes, they're kind of easy to craft. So what I would suggest is crafting your own opposed to buying these. But if you just want to buy it straight up and you just want to do the pay to win thing, that's on you. Or if you got a good market going, and you got a lot of coins going in. Um, that is another way to do it. This is going to be the weapon. This is going to give you the weapon once you go to the crafting station. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. Actually, I am not in the city. Goddamn. So we're in the city now. I'm going to be showing you how to make lithograms. Um, I'm on purple, so just follow along. But it's going to be the same for blue and uh, green as well, too. So down here, they're kind of hidden down here. So there's trade extraction. And then next to that is lithograms. Um, you want to make sure you don't put any levels into your armor, anything, don't do anything to this armor. And then you should be able to drag this over here. Boom. As you can see, what you're going to be getting is the precious lithogram for the hero garb of the resistance, right? This is what the name of that is. This is what you're going to be getting. Usually when you're going to go craft armor, it's going to be asking for a scroll and it's going to have the name of the item, just like that precious lithogram. What you're going to be needing is the precious blank lithogram armor scroll, which you are going to be able to make in this vendor here. Um, and it's the same way for weapons as well. You're going to be able to make the scroll. It's just going to be for precious weapons. Glad you're here. So what you're going to do is go to the armor crafting uh, vendor. You want to scroll down here. Precious blank lithograms for armor. 
then here you go. You just need a little bit more price. Well, I just need a little bit more precious parchment paper. Um, enchanted ink. This is actually in the shop. And then, um, as you can see, the rest of these right here. But yes, the enchanted ink is in the shop. All you got to do is go to the shop. It's going to be using ordinate coins. You want to scroll down here and you're going to see enchanted ink right here. You can only buy, what is it? A hundred a month. I'm at 50. <laughs> Lithograms are another thing again, that you can sell on the marketplace, or you can honestly just use it to craft the weapons that you want. As you can see, you can probably get a little bit of bread from these lithograms. So this may be the move as far as selling lithograms on the shop. Maybe you can I'll undercut the market, the play it just a little bit. The They're cracking heads on these two. So there is a little bit of room, wiggle room um, in the market. I'm not saying completely screw the market, destroy the market, but you know, you see some people talking about 1800, maybe drop it down to like this person's doing right here, drop it down to 1300. Um, I'm sure these are selling like hotcakes. Okay. Okay. So next up, I know some of you guys are talking about, yo, why can't I just sell the item straight up? You're not going to be able to do that. What am I talking about? I'm talking about if you want to go and just randomly sell a crossbow on the auction house, you're not going to be able to do that. That's how they have it set up. Right? So you're not going to, you see, it just, it won't let you do it at all. This can't be listed for sale. What can be listed for sale is these items that have the frames around them, right? And you look in the description is going to say latest trade price. Sometimes you're going to get these from world boss drops, um, possibly dungeons. You're just going to have to keep your eye on every item that you get in the description. If it says latest trade price, you're going to be able to flip it for a little bit of extra cheese. Okay. But as far as listing any item that you want up here, you're just not going to be able to do that. All right. Me, for example, I got these rare Rubik's and um, I find these kind of often as it is. So what I decided to do is list these up. And as you see, we are getting a little bit of money from that. Um, but there's nothing I could, this is just a random drop. And I'm guessing that the percentages for this type of drop is extremely, extremely low. Next up, we're going to talk about cooking. Cooking is one of the most easiest ways that you can get an item on the auction house. Um, I was just randomly doing some cooking. One of these days threw down, made some common items, made some uncommon items and made some rare dishes as well. And all of these items I was able to list up here. Now, if they're going to sell, I don't know. Um, you may have to get really high in cooking because I know some of these things, some of the effects like this, uh, 50% bonus XP is going to last for 60 minutes. So I imagine some people want that pretty badly. Um, so I'll give this a little bit of time and I think that someone will pick this up. So that is all there is to cooking. You get dishes, you level up your cooking and you are going to get uh, auctionable items um, at a very high rate opposed to any other way. Also, make sure you always keep an eye on the lithogram book. That is going to be another way that you can get weapons that you can turn into lithograms. OK, if it's just something that you really are not feeling something that you really don't want. For example, me in this hero garb, I can straight turn this into materials and get this or I can um, turn these into lithograms and uh, sell these straight to the auction house. It's the same thing with this um, or this if I get it from the lithogram book. I probably plan on using this to increase the trait for my main weapon. But again, if it's something that you really don't want, you just have an access of crossbow sitting around, put it in the lithogram book, um, you know, get the reward from it and then turn your reward into a lithogram and list it on the auction house for a fair price. And you shouldn't have a problem with making any lucent. But again, do not extract traits on items that you do not wish to extract traits on. If you extract the trait on this, it is going to destroy the weapon, but it will leave you something that you can put up on the auction house. Okay. Now this is going to make you lucent, but it is going to uh, completely destroy the item from being a usable item. Don't buy extracts inside of the auction house thinking it is the weapon because you are going to lose out on lucent. And you're not going to be able to use this until you get the real item that you want. And then you'll be able to use that to upgrade the trait. I've seen that's been happening a lot. People are like, yo, I'm not able to use this weapon at all. And I just got it from the auction house. Is the item cheap? Number one. Number two, does it say extract in the front? If so, you've only purchased the trait. And obviously, if you got it like that with the Lucent, you got a good method going on. You got a lot of Lucent sitting in your account. Click on this. Check it out. 
see the lowest price for whatever you want you know get the best deal um but if not i honestly think that crafting is probably going to be the way to go for me i 100 percent do not recommend purchasing lucent to get a weapon just grind that shit out bro just grind it out with the homies and if you don't got any homies be sure to check out the guild dragon empire on oath but it's your boy you berserk aka shogun you berserk i really 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 hope i touched on all the topics for the auction house hopefully nobody is confused and if you are be sure to comment it down below politely and i will be able to answer that as best as i can but i think that is all to the auction house and i am glad that i was able to compile all this information into one video